All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to go ahead and convert a decimal to binary to hex. We'll do just one. It's the same concept, pretty much. So, I mean, since you're not doing it on the test, we'll just do it real quick. But I'm not going to make up the number so you don't think I'm the one that's actually, you know, I have a number already made up and I'm just doing it. So, I'm going to ask, give me a number. Anybody? 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 You have a number? You, right there. Give me, give me a number. 238. 238? Okay. No problem, no problem. The shy girl in the back, 238, with the Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse voice. All right, so what do you do? All right, there's many ways of doing it. You have a decimal, let me get rid of these numbers here, these binary bit values right here from the previous lesson. All right, we have a number 238, let's center it. So use your table. Where is it? Here it is. 238, how close can we get? 240. Well, no, that's too much. 224, right? 224. So we got, we got 1, 1, 1. So we know that we have 224. So how many more do we need to get to 238? Uh, that uh, 224, we would need, that's a good one. Okay, so let's subtract. Let me see, let me put the number in here, 224. Wow, that will be 8, that will be 14, sorry. I had to visually see it. We'll need 14 more. So definitely 16, way too much. 8, okay. And 4, that's 12. And 2, that's 14. And then 0. Boop. So that will come out to 238. So you have 224 and and um, and I said the, the 8 and the 2, that's 10. That's 234 plus 4 more. That's 238. So that is your binary bit. Remember, everything goes to binary. So we took the 238 using our table to help us out, to get us close to that number, okay, uh, without going over, all right? And we find out the binary. So we take the binary and we break it up into two sections. So we go, okay, so we got 1, 1, 1, 0, and then we go tab over here and we got 0, no, we got one 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 zero. Oh look, that's interesting. You saw that one 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 zero one 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 zero. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now the bit values are eight four. Uh, sorry, eight four two one eight four two one. Right? They're two separate numbers because remember each hex number is four bits long. So what binary bits are on here? 8, 4, and 2. So 8 and 2 is 10, 4 is 14. What is 14? Where is it at? 14 is E. So this is E. And then 1, 1, 1, 0, same thing, E is 14. So our hex number is EE. -E. Very good number there, 238. That was pretty cool. I like that. So that's EE. -E. But it's the same concept, whatever number they give you. You know, they'll try to trick you, which they won't because you won't get asked this question. But again, if they give you a 0x56 or 0x, you know, 13, you do the same thing. Forget the 0x. 1 will be 001. And then 6 will be 0110. And then you put it appropriately. That's all it is. You put them in their binary bits. You follow the same concept. You take your decimal, you turn it to binary. And then you take it to hex. Again, you, if you already have a number, let's say you're a professor at college because, you know, they have to give you high numbers. Uh, I want you to convert number, oh, I don't know, 100,249. So you double as you go all the way to, you know, you reach that number, right? And then you add the ones that are on and you break it up into sections of four. And then you do that. Really, I would just cheat and use a calculator to be quite completely honest with you. Because something that high in numbers is just ridiculous. And you're not going to do any conversions unless you're a programmer or, I guess, a web designer. And this I learned because of the courses that I do have that the programmers and the web designers are the ones that are actually looking forward to this hex conversion thing. But again, something that high, you're going to use calculators. In tests, you're not going to go beyond 255, guaranteed. All right, they give you 512, it's like, wow, all right? So, but this is the concept. Taking it to the binary level, and then the binary 
separating into sections of four for your hex number. And if you want to practice, you could. You can take your hex, you can take your um, your hex, you can take your MAC address, which is hex numbers. They're in sections of twos, right? Your 48-bit MAC address. Turn your MAC address into binary, then change it into or separate it into sections of four. Okay? And they'll it'll give you the same hex number. And you can verify that way. Or if you really want to go ahead and do some math, you can go ahead and put the binary bits and double as you go. All right? And that's what hex numbers really are. Hex numbers are just a shortcut to write binary. That's all it is. Because imagine doing wireless MAC filtering in binary. My guy, hey, what's your MAC address? Oh, my MAC address is 1101111000011110. That's, you don't want to do that. You give them a hex number, it will be a lot simpler, right? So that's, that's all it is. And, uh, but anyway, I, I digress. Uh, again, same concepts as before. Take things to binary, then to hex. You'll be just fine. Binary is the middle ground. Again, this was decimal to binary to hex. See you in the next lesson.